Countries across the world are imposing restrictions to contain the spread of the virus. A fresh study highlights the efficacy of the lockdown measures in India. In the US, a report says one in five infected children will need to be hospitalized. This is the Gravitas coronavirus tracker. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has declared a month-long state of emergency in capital Tokyo and six other prefectures. 44% of Japan's population will be impacted. Abe has also announced a stimulus package of around $1 trillion to deal with the economic challenges. The United States remains the worst affected country, with more than 10,000 deaths and over 367,000 positive cases. So far, three children have lost their lives in the United States due to coronavirus. According to the first in-depth analysis of its kind, infants are the most likely to require medical treatment at hospitals. As per America's Center for Disease Control and Prevention, up to 20% of children infected by the virus require hospitalization. That is one in every five children. With close to 100,000 cases, the French health minister has said the country has not yet reached the peak of its COVID-19 spread. The latest figures show the rate of increase in fatalities has garnered pace again, and admissions to intensive care units are still on the rise. On the occasion of the World Health Day today, the theme is to provide support to nurses, midwives and frontline workers across the world fighting the COVID-19 crisis to make sure that everyone everywhere gets the healthcare they need. 2020 is also the International Year of the Nurse and the Midwife, through which the World Health Organization wants to highlight their contribution and dedication. In its report, the body has revealed that the world is short of 6 million nurses. Elaborating on the efficacy of lockdown measures in India, the Indian Council for Medical Research in a study has said a single COVID-19 positive person can infect up to 406 people in 30 days in the absence of lockdown or social distancing. But if social exposure is reduced by 75%, then the same person can infect only 2.5 persons. The Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison has told Australians to stay home over the Easter long weekend and follow the social distancing measures. While there has been a sharp drop in the rate of new cases, the authorities want to ensure that the slow pace stays. Australia has close to 6,000 cases currently. The death toll stands at 46. New Zealand's health minister has been demoted after he flouted the lockdown rules by driving his family to a beach 20 kilometers from his home. This comes at a time when all new New Zealanders are being urged to stay home and only exercise in their local areas. The minister has apologized for the incident, calling it a case of poor judgment. Healthcare workers are traveling to the remote villages in Brazil's Amazon region to warn them about the coronavirus threat. Vaccination drives for other diseases like influenza and H1N1 are also being carried out. The lack of infrastructure in the interior parts is a huge challenge.